We just had a hellacious flood. It's the second worst one that we've had since I've lived here, which has been all my life. And uh, here's how high it got compared to the deck. You can see the debris that floated up. That used to be my wood pile is now my wood scattered pile. We got right up to the edge of the deck. It's been up to the foundation of the house before, but it's going down quick. So it's kind of cold out here. I'm doing a, a little experiment with my air rifle. I am at, I want to say 85 bar right now. I'll take it up to 100 bar and I'll start counting from there. So I'll go from 100 bar to 250 bar, which is uh, 3,500 PSI. And I'm going to count the pumps. All right, while that guy's out there pumping the gun, I'm gonna do another experiment with air pressure and temperature, or well, the temperature as it relates to uh, pressure, and get into a little bit more about what air pressure really is, because it's not what most people think that it is. So over here, I've got some some hot water. Can you look at me? Yep, there, I'm looking at you. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so what do you want to say? What do you want to tell everybody about? Uh, I think it's watching TV, that's all. That's all, okay. <laughs> okay, so here's an ordinary pop bottle, and I'm gonna warm it up so that the air inside of the pop bottle is hot, and we're gonna see what happens. In fact, I think I could probably just lay, oop, uh-oh. Nope, can't do that, it's melting the bottle. Apparently it's too hot to make contact, but hopefully I didn't destroy the bottle, but I think this is still going to show us what we want to see here. Okay, so it's still rising, maybe. See the water is 190, the bottle is 100. And Call it 118. Probably varies along its length. I'm gonna go ahead and cap it now. All right, so now let's see what happens to the bottle as it cools. So that's interesting. Let's go a little bit more extreme here. Uh, 16 degrees. That's pretty cool. 18. So let's see where we end up. Okay, so just for fun, let's uh, let's watch it expand back out to room temperature. All these promises, promise don't leave me. If you take away and leave me with nothing. 73 degrees, and it hasn't completely come out to the same volume that it was because the air that we put in there was hotter than it is now. I am at uh, 250 bar on the pump and I am just under 200 bar, about 240 bar on the gun. The cylinder of the gun is 41 degrees. Let's see, the concrete is 35. So it warmed up the cylinder when I pumped it up. Yeah, the pump is 50 degrees. It normally gets pretty warm to the touch when I pump it up inside. So I'm gonna bleed off the trap. Take them in, let the, let the gun warm up and see if the pressure increases. So what did we learn just now? Is hot air higher pressure than cold air? Not really. 
the air that's inside your house in the wintertime and the air that's outside your house in wintertime, it's the same pressure. So as air gets hotter, it expands. As it gets colder, it contracts. So if you're in cold air, the density of the air is greater because the molecules are smaller. So the action of the air molecules expanding and contracting can't be taken advantage of unless it's contained within a vessel. If you have a bullet casing, the casing is a vessel that contains some air, and when you ignite it, that air gets very hot and expands out rapidly and propels the bullet. Every time that the uh, pump sucks in air, it's pulling in more molecules in a cold environment than it is in a warm environment. So each pump, more molecules go into the gun. That's why internal combustion engines have more horsepower when they're running in cold air because more air molecules are going into the intake and expanding out when they get ignited in the uh, gas. God, you're so distracting. <laughs> We need to have at least a little bit of fun with this before we're done. The gun has warmed up to 69.8 degrees. Well, let's take a look at the pressure gauge. Uh-oh! It's over pressure now! You know what that means? I gotta shoot it to get the pressure out! Oh. All right, no disrespect to Under Armour or anything, but thanks for the valve. Ha, got it. Okay, here's the valve. Sweet. So that'll be pretty easy. I think at this point, what I need to do is drill a hole in the cap that is a little bit smaller than this diameter right here. And hopefully the pressure it's gonna push this thing into the cap on that side and seal up. Oh no, I made a hole in my table. But I got my lid drilled. Okay, so we gotta jam this valve through the hole. This way, of course. Got it. Okay, so there it is. Okay, here it goes. Ha! <laughs> that totally works. That's amazing. I can't believe it works. didn't explode like I hoped, but let's try it again. Okay, here's same pressure, less volume, but I've got a little leftovers in it. And I'm gonna set it upright like this so the liquid is at the bottom and I'm gonna perforate the bottle at the bottom so that the air pressure is still at the top and blows the mass out the bottom. Let's see what happens. <laughs> wow, that was really loud. 